Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sip and Review. My name is Chantel. Before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up to like this video. And hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And you may also comment below. So, let's get started. So, I will be reviewing Chasing Atlanta Season 4 Episode 2 collateral damage this is my review so the episode starts out with Q congrats Q he was awarded with the position of NR of Sony Music so Rico alright Rico I see you your music sounds nice it's a bop I really liked it Rico said that he quit his job and moved here to Atlanta to pursue his music career as you see a lot of folks do so let's talk about Dominique Dominique is meeting up with Cameron Cameron said that he has no comments about Oliver because he don't know him like that Cameron also said that Lauren downplayed their friendship and she said that she never hung out first of all guys I want to say I'm glad to see that Cameron is doing well because on the last season um, previous season, as a matter of fact, for many, he has been battling um, his fight with cancer. So I'm so happy to see that he is looking great. So, moving on. According to Dominique, Lauren would have Dominique's sister paycheck, fired her, and put her out of the house. Apparently, this storyline will stick around throughout the season. That's what it's looking like because we keep hearing about it thus far. So, let me just take a minute to appreciate how the producers are showing off downtown Atlanta. It's a beautiful city, guys. I love it. Every time I go to downtown, especially at night when it is lit up, it is gorgeous. So, moving on from that. Travis, he's a radio personality. He got that voice, too. I love it. Um... It's like that type of voice that just draws you in. And I can tell that he's been in radio for a long time. So, we get the part to where Q invited him to a party. But Q is not going to be there at the party. So, it might be a setup because you know how the girls act when they get together. It may be some fighting, some cussing, some mess. You know, just shady business sometimes. It gets like that. So, hopefully... He seems like he has a, um, seems like he can handle it to me, you know, so he'll be okay. You just have to be mindful of who you socialize with. So, hey, Imani, we moved on to the part where Imani said that she's not happy with how they find the time to drag each other behind their backs, shaking my head up. People do that often, in mind. That's just how it is, whether it's with them or just anyone in the world, period. That's how some people are. However, like she said, they do that a lot on this show. So, moving on. They showed a scene where Lauren was on the way to China. Lauren said the only thing is that... He wants to come out of this trip is to be a new Lauren. That's all she says. She wants to be a new Lauren when she comes back to the A. So, Twix meets up with Rico. Twix is talking nervously. So, I think he likes Rico, honey. Because he was a little bit nervous, you know. A little giggly, you know, just kiki the whole time. So, he said that... People from Miami, men from Miami makes him weak. Sounds like you got a little crush on Rico Suave. So, you both are into music. So, and Twix don't like talking about Q. Because Rico started talking about uh, Q. And you know that's Twix's soft spot, okay? Because he still heard about how... Q just ghosted him and just stopped talking to him and cut him off because he really thought Q was his friend, okay? So Twix invites Rico to perform at Pride. How nice of Twix to invite him. 
Um, so Miss Kendra is shooting her music video and giving me Nola Bounce vibes, God. That's what I got on that music. Like it had that nice Nola Bounce beat to it and it sounded pretty good. So I like the little song Free Lil Kendra, that's the name of the song. So it's also a bop. So Oliver Twix worked with Funky Duneva. So that's what he said. He did some work with Funky Dineva. So the real reason why Q and Twix friendship is over is because Q decided to listen to hearsay instead of listening to Twix's side of the story. Now, I can see where and why Twix is feeling really salty about that. And I don't agree with that. Like, if you're my friend, you come and talk to me about what's going on. What the song say? Don't ask my neighbors. Come to me. Okay? So, that's what you need to do, Q. Have a sit down with Twix. If that's your true friend like that, you should have talked to him. And you need to listen to his side of the story. Because that's your boy. That's your friend. You know, you don't do no shit like that. So, guys, that is the end of my commentary. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye now.